Welcome to Nina's Nuts Crochet. I'm Lynanne. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet. Sometimes it's about knitting and sometimes it's about yarn, but mostly it's about my journey in this fantastic yarning community. Returning subscribers, hey, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Wednesday with me. Uh, Wednesdays are typically Whip Wednesday. And we talk about all the things that I'm working on that aren't bank logs. And there's a bunch. Um, yeah, I have had starditis. I have had all these projects that I want to do. And I, I've started a lot. Um, let's start with one that's an almost finished object and I'm hoping by Friday this will be a finished object and that is the field of dreams shawl that I am doing with the beautiful gorgeous arcane fiberworks uh, yarn that I bought on Black Friday and Is this not gorgeous? This is turning out as, it's just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I love it. It has gotten to the point where it's big enough. Um, it's not as deep as I was hoping it would be. Uh, but honestly, I'm running out of yarn. Um, I only have this much left of the dark blue for the lace section, which is this section here. I have this and this left of the midnight and the totally fine. So my plan is I'm gonna go the stripe section. I'm gonna probably double it instead of doing, uh, I think it's six rows through here, two, four, it's eight rows. Two, eight rows of the stripe section and then you do the lace section. I'm probably going to do 16 rows of the stripe section so that I can finish all of this and then I'll probably have enough to do maybe the cluster section to make an ed uh, border on this because this is getting really big and this isn't a lot left. <laughs> But this shawl is, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Look how beautiful that yarn plays together. And it, such beautiful drape. And it's going to be just absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, God, is that not pretty? Is that not pretty? I, see, now, when I have this, I, it's like, oh, why don't we have cold weather? And then I remember, I don't like to be places where it hurts to breathe the air. So this, this shot is going to be just absolutely gorgeous. And I think it is, this pattern is just everything you want it to be. It's simplistic, but it comes out so beautiful. And I absolutely adore this. So my plan is to finish this today. Um, if I don't get sidetracked, oh my God, you guys, I have gotten myself down so many rabbit holes lately. Um, I know you've all heard Jackie talk about, uh, our challenge to each other, um, Jackie from Crochet HD and our challenge to each other. Cause 2024 for me, as you all know, is the year of Tunisian and I am doing a deep dive into Tunisian. And Jackie and I have challenged each other to take a knit pattern and turn it into a Tunisian pattern. Well, my lofty head got ahead of myself and I thought I could do it with a cardigan. And I started one last night. Um, let me open my laptop and I'll tell you the name of the cardigan that I am doing. gonna take me a minute because it my laptop went to sleep on me sorry about that
did I tell you I'm using a number four furls or four and a half furls on the uh, Field of Dream Shaw and it's fingering weight yarn? That, those are the important things, right? Uh, let's see, where is that cardigan? Sorry guys, I hate when I do this and of course now I can't find it. Is it in my files? I don't think it is. Okay, I'll pop a the name of the cardigan and a picture of it up here because I don't need to take up any more of your time trying to get myself organized. Um, anyway, it's a really simple knitted cardigan um, and it's done completely in the knit stitch. So I can transfer that into um, Tunisian and it's done in pieces. So you're doing a back piece, two front pieces and sleeves and um, I am making the 1X size and I've started the ribbing, as you can see. And it's really a very easy pattern. Uh, we've knit one, purl one for the ribbing and I've got just a few more rows to go on that. I am using, uh, and I love this yarn, the Upcycle Alpaca Blend by Knit Picks. Oh my God. Sport weight. It's twisted, really, like a, a corkscrew twist. It's a really neat um, fiber. It's, this is a number two sport weight. I'm going to sneeze. Shoo! Oh gosh, excuse me. I am so sorry. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Anyway, this is alpaca 33% alpaca 34% wool 33% acrylic hand wash lay flat to dry um there are 273 yards in each one of these little donuts the color is called sea glass which is a, this is a really pretty gray i have five of these but i also have if i need extra I have it in the dark gray that I could like maybe do some stripes if I think I'm going to be running short because I don't know how I, and I know that Tunisian is going to take more yardage than knitting. So I have five of this color, which is called black pearl. So I think those two together would make such a beautiful uh, cardigan just to neutral to wear with everything. Um, my hope and dream and plan is I want to get it done in time for our trip to Boggy Creek so I can wear it when we go to Boggy Creek. That's in the middle of February and I got about a month. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, these are the two yarns that I am using to make this beautiful cardigan and it's not going to be heavy because it's sport weight, but it's going to be just the perfect throw on when you're chilly sweater. So that is one of the projects that I have challenged myself. Now we'll see how it goes. Um, eventually sometime this year, I will do a raglan style uh, Tunisian sweater because I'm going to conquer raglan style sweaters. I am also going to conquer Tunisian in the round or crochet in the round for that matter, because I seem to screw that up quite a bit. So yeah, we're, I'm going to work on all these things. Um, still doing all my other things because come February, I have to put together Sydney's uh, cardigan that she asked for for her birthday. What am I thinking, you guys? I can do this. I am not going to stress. I am not going to overwhelm myself. If this doesn't get done in time for the trip to Boggy Creek, eh, it's okay. I got a other. I got other cardigans I can wear. Um, but I just thought this would be fun to have it done in time. Um, 
I am still working on the Harmony Shaw, which I will show you that is living in my bright yellow knit picks bag. Uh, the Harmony Shaw is again done in this beautiful upcycle alpaca blend. This color is, I think it's called Salt Lake. It's just, this yarn is, it's all that you guys, I love it. Um, I, I had to frog back. Um, I was here the last time you saw it. I haven't made that much progress on it because I, I lost count and I lost track of what row I was working on. So I had to go back to a place where I knew the count and then I had to restart. So I really haven't made a whole lot of progress on this, but again, I, I love how this yarn is working up. I love this pattern. I think it makes such an interesting fabric. Um, and I will, I keep working on it. And like I said, none of these projects are in any hurry. I'm going to get them done when I get them done. Uh, the only one that's got a timeline on it is the cardigan for Sydney, and that's got to be done by the beginning of March. So that is the Harmony Shaw um, by El Eklori Designs, and I've shown you that a couple of times. So I will move my stitch marker. That's how far I've gotten so far since the last time you saw it. I'll move the stitch marker up, and... We'll see how much progress we make on this the next time you see this piece because I really, really, really think this one is just so beautiful. And I, this was, I think, the perfect yarn choice for this uh, because you can see the stitches so, so well. See, that? look at that beautiful design in there. It's subtle, but it's noticeable. So that is the Harmony Shawl. Um, other than that, what else am I working on? Um, that shawl, that shawl. Oh, the uh, poncho for Olivia. And I am working on that. Um, although I'm going to stop on that until um, we get to the point where we're going to start working on one together on Tunisian Tuesdays. And then I will finish the first panel with you guys and work on the second panel and um, we'll work on it together um, on Tunisian Tuesday. So that one is kind of put in timeout for now. What else? Where's my list? You know what? You, you, you make yourself these lists and then you don't know what you did with it. Oh my God. Really? I lost my list. I lost my list, you guys. See, I am so unorganized and I hate it. Oh, I know what it is, but that was the Make Along Monday. That's the other thing I'm working on. It's the Shaw for Judy's Creations and Crochet and my uh, uh, bag for, that's a, mon that's a Make Along Monday. So I think that's it. That's all the things that I'm working on that are not Make Along Monday. Um, I will be starting one more project, but this is going to be the next project that I start is going to be a, a long-term project. And I'll explain that to you on Friday. So guys, um, yeah, other, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm super busy with a lot of things but it doesn't seem like it's a lot of things. Um, I, I'm, I'm enjoying um, spending time doing um, Tunisian crochet. I love Tunisian crochet. I love the fabric. Um, oh, Tom's cardigan. I'm working on Tom's cardigan too, but that's out in the living room because I only work on that on the weekends um, when we watch uh, On Patrol Live together. <laughs> I may get it done by next winter. I may not. Who knows? Um, but he really wanted a cardigan done in Tunisian with the Mona Lisa yarn. So I'm working on that one slowly but surely. Um, and I'll show you. I'll show that to you t on Wednesday or Friday. I'll show you what progress I've made on it, which, to be honest with you, 
hasn't done a whole lot. I've kind of neglected it and I really, really need to get back to it now that the holidays are over and things are somewhat back to normal. Um, and what's normal, right? So anyway, you guys, um, I'm going to finish this row, which I am, you know, I'm all about the Tunisian return pass because it's so simple and almost mindless. If you're very careful, you can whip through a return row in no time at all. So I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a fabulous Wednesday. I hope you have a rest of your week is just everything you hoped it to be. Stay safe from this crazy weather that we're having um, and make sure you take care of yourself. Give yourself some grace, but above all, be kind to everyone and we'll talk to you on Friday.